The Amber Trust, Joseph's Story. Introducing new instruments to a blind child. Hello. Joseph and Baluji are sitting cross-legged on the floor. They each have a sitar. So I'm sitting here opposite, just in front of you as you can hear me. This is the sitar. How many strings it has? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven on top. And blind people like me and Joseph or anybody else, we don't see anything, so we touch. Do you see underneath there is another set of the strings? Underneath it? Yeah, underneath those seven strings he just played. Any instrument I give and I ask them to touch first, explore, and then I ask their opinion what uh, part of the instrument, what it does. And then I tell them what actually happens. Is it more? Yeah. After this big peg, you see this one the big? Yeah. After one, this, there one, one, two, one, three, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. No, eleven. Are there, are there eleven strings there? Eleven strings, yes. Adam Ockleford. For a child who can't see, it's really vital that they have first hand experiences of things because they'll hear stuff on the radio, on the internet, see stuff on the television, but they won't know, of course, what's actually making the sounds. Or they might hear a sitar, but have no idea of the actual instrument. So if you hold it like that, and the right arm goes like this, around this, yeah? And good, very good. And when I have to see what they are doing, I have to put my hands on their hands. So it's more touching. And it's not like sighted people, you do this and you do that and you look at that and it's done. And we have to be in touch with each other. What, 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 what are those for? That, that, those pegs thing? Those up there? For the Take my hand and show me. Well, those pegs are the, the tuning pegs of the strings. They have to also touch me. My hand has to be touched by them and I have to touch their hands to see whether they are playing the right position, they are playing the right way and they are sitting the right way. So this is called Da and this is Ra, this way. Play for me. Yeah, very good. The trust building is very important if you trust your teacher. Very good. So now, Okay, now you want to produce the notes. So with the left hand, no. yeah, with the left hand, left hand. It's crucial that they find the salient parts of an instrument. So Joseph needed to know where the tuning pegs were. He needed to know where the gourd was on the end, the bit that makes a sound. He needed to find all the strings so he could play it. Now, he may discover those just by exploring for himself, or he may miss something crucial. So it's really important for a blind child to, to be guided in an appropriate way to how to explore an instrument. If you count, these are the frets. You know the frets uh, on the guitar, but this has got a big gap. And always, wherever possible, let the child be guided by your hand, so the child's hand is on top, so they can they don't feel comfortable or they're, they're over stretching they can they can move back and also it's a really good idea to do it with with parents or carers presence and explain what you're doing so that there's no question of misunderstanding play for me this one next one Coming back? It was lovely for Joseph because Baluji is a really well esteemed, quite famous Indian musician and he's got lots of different instruments. And for Joseph, it was a bit like a sweet shop. Oh. So you found the guppy. This is called guppy. That one? Yeah. 
Now I will show you how Guppy is played. His hands were exploring um, everywhere, and part of it was the yeah, sheer excitement it. of being able to explore these instruments for the first time. That was lovely for Joseph. And Baluji was so gentle and patient, he gave him the time and the space to explore and gently kept guiding him and bringing him back to what he wanted him to do. Can I play it for you? You can hear it, how it, how it works. So then you can ask me questions. The way blind children explore and play with things is quite different. The way they play will be much more by discovering the sound something makes, discovering the textures it makes, and by perhaps by tapping it and rubbing it. Joseph feels the guppy as Baluji plays. Hearing all the different ways they can interact with an instrument. And that kind of exploratory play is really important. And Indian instruments, it's not like Western instrument. Within Indian instrument, you have to, it's like knitting something, holding your finger like this and playing like this and like this. So it's more difficult. First, look at the drums. This is, because uh, you see, you can see there's something in the middle and here, something at the side. Yeah? It goes like this. Baluji plays the tabla with Joseph's hand on top of his. So my hand is there because of this uh, space. Play. First, first you have to produce this sound like this. Can you do it? Yeah, good. When you're done, when you've done this, then you, yeah. You can't do it. Yes, you can. It's not hard at all. First you have to produce this sound, like this. When this sound has come, then you push your hand. It's very simple. Yeah? So, obviously he lost confidence. Try. But then I said, you can do it. And push, yeah, very well. Yes, very good. That's not difficult at all. No, I think yeah. for a sighted yeah. teacher to take no. on a blind child, they just need to rethink for a minute. Like this, like Perhaps this. even closing their eyes and, and rediscovering their own yeah. instrument. It hasn't got the, the colours, for example, it hasn't got the perspective that a sighted person would see, but it has got other things. It's got the texture on the tuning knobs. It's got the distance between the strings. These things become very important. And the best way for a, a sighted teacher to approach teaching a blind child is literally to shut their own eyes, wait five minutes, and then rediscover their instrument. How would you find the starting note, for example? Now you play whatever you want to play. Give me a rhythm. Very good. Yeah. But Joseph is playing the tabla and Baluji the sitar. Suddenly you have to remember everything. It's quite a different experience. And I think having that little insight will really help those first few minutes with a blind child as they explore the instrument too. Very good.